this house. There's some roars in 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 this house. my channel welcome back to another vloggy vlog I know I've been away for a little while I just felt like I needed to like take a break for by the time you guys are watching this I think I wouldn't I haven't posted a, a video I don't know why I can't talk today I haven't posted a video in I think like two weeks and it's just because I wasn't really in the mood to vlog or really film like anything at all um, and plus I wasn't like really doing much or going anywhere so I was like eh, we're just not gonna vlog because I don't like things to be contrived I like to vlog when I'm like doing things in my house or I know I'm gonna be running errands and things like that I'm not ever gonna just like I might like I might want to like remain consistent and be like oh, I want to vlog this week or whatever but then like I might not be doing anything that I feel like vlogging and that I feel like is good enough that y'all are like gonna want to watch and so yeah I like it to be organic so anyways y'all enjoyed my little morning montage I made breakfast I am drinking my iced coffee now I just got these new um glasses they look like beer can glasses um i got a set of six i believe from uh amazon i have my water in here as well i got them from amazon i bought them i think like almost two weeks ago now and i love them first of all i bought them because my other drinking glasses that i have these that I've had since my last apartment I got these from Target 
and I only have one left. The One of them broke in the box when I moved in and then I had two other ones aside from this. They broke in the dishwasher and I was so fucking annoyed and I was like, now I only have one left. So I was like, you know what, fuck it. We're gonna buy some new glasses. So I bought a set of six. I will have them linked down below in my description box. They are linked on my Amazon store front um so if you purchase anything from my storefront i will get a commission just to let y'all know but yeah i'll have them linked down below i love them and making coffee in them is my favorite even having my water in them is my favorite and i also think because it's aesthetically pleasing it like helps me to drink more water throughout the day um so yeah anyways you saw my little morning montage today is friday it is july 8th it is 11 o'clock um, I haven't really done much work today. I've checked my emails and stayed up to date with that, but I haven't done any real work. I have to finish this presentation today, so that is my main work goal for the day. I had other things on my list to do, but luckily I started doing stuff for those other projects like earlier in the week before I started this presentation, so I don't feel as behind, but I definitely have to finish this presentation today. Most of it is done. I just need to finish these last few slides, and then we'll be good to go then later on I'm going to Pilates of course because it's Friday so I go to Pilates Wednesdays and Fridays I started incorporating a third workout day in my week I didn't go on Monday this week like I did last week I just decided to go on Tuesday so I went to my gym in my apartment building I did some cardio and some strength training so yeah i'm really loving pilates i don't want to go back to like fully doing like only lifting pilates does incorporate some strength training like when you use the reformer because you're resistance training so it does do a little bit of that but i just love going to pilates and how it makes me feel and that i'm getting stronger and doing that and it's very enjoyable to me i do still like lifting i just don't care to like lift like three times a week now like I feel like one day is like enough and I just make sure that it's like kind of split like I'll be on the treadmill for like 10 minutes so I like walk for a minute run for a minute do that for 10 minutes then I will split my lifting into like upper body lower body and then I'll do running on the treadmill for like the last like five minutes and that takes me about like 45 ish to 50 minutes to do that whole routine so i'm doing essentially a total body workout with some cardio mixed in yeah so i feel like i'm working out my entire body and she's getting what she needs the scale is starting to go down again trying to get our eating under control love that for me so that's where we are in our fitness shit i don't really have any other plans today Tomorrow, I am gonna go to the beauty supply store in the morning because I'm going on vacation next month and I'm trying to figure out what I wanna do with my hair. I was gonna do a wig and I have done wigs for vacation before, but I know that I'm gonna have to do a little bit of maintenance on the wig from like the heat because sometimes it just like breaks down the glue even though I put like four coats of that shit. Unless I like leave a scarf on after a while, the glue is gonna start to melt and my lace might start lifting a little bit and then I have to fix that. And I don't really wanna have to worry about that on vacation. So my two options right now are, do I wanna just cough up the $400 to go get my knotless box braids? The only reason they cost that much, I mean, braiding services are going up. Anyways, all the services are going up, but like, I like my knotless braids small that is the size that I like on my hair and so because they're small and I also like mine like past my ass that's why I pay so much money for them um so that's one option the other option is for me to do a slick back uh braided ponytail and so my hair is slicked back right now it's not slicked back the best because my hair wasn't like super duper straight when I did it but I do have the tools and everything that I need to be able to slick back my natural hair it just has to be as straight as possible so um and I also watched the girl who did my braided ponytail for Brittany's wedding so I have an idea and I've also watched videos on YouTube so I have that part down pat I haven't braided like not cornrow i can cornrow my hair but i haven't done like um 
box braids or like added hair into a braid in my own hair in like a very long time. And so I want to go to the beauty supply store and buy like a pack of hair just to play around and test out doing like the actual braided ponytail part. And if I can finesse it and it comes out really, really well, then I think that I am going to do a braided ponytail for vacation next month. If I cannot master it and I'm not paying anybody to do it either, I will just cough up the money to just go get my knotless braids. So yeah, tomorrow is gonna be a go to the beauty supply store day, get the shit that I need, test this out, see how it comes out. And if it comes out good, great. And if it doesn't, then we're just gonna go get our knotless braids next month. I also need to wash my hair tomorrow anyways. It has been a week and I'm trying to get back to washing my hair on a weekly basis. So I need to wash my hair tomorrow as well. And um, I kind of want to shoot some content. I feel like I need some new photos for Instagram. I'm already going to get new photos like next month when I'm on vacation because the vacation content, but I kind of want like other photos aside from that. Skipper, what are you doing? I don't really have any other plans for the weekend unless like something comes up. I do need to uh, sweep and mop in here. That's really it, but yeah. I've been rambling for almost 10 minutes. I just wanted to come on camera and talk to y'all. And yeah, let me have my coffee. So good, per usual. And let me finish this fucking presentation and I will talk to you beautiful people later. Hey y'all, I finished my presentation. So now it's time for, I was gonna try and show you my plate and tip it over, but then the chips will fall for, uh, it's time to have lunch now. I cannot talk. Um, I made a ham and cheese sandwich on some fresh country white bread. I toasted it and buttered it. The bread is from Whole Foods per usual. Um, so then we just have ham and some New Zealand cheddar cheese. And then we have some potato chips. And... I'm gonna have some more of my lemon water. So, this is my lunch. And then, okay, I am gonna cool out for the rest of the day until I go to Pilates. Because I've been staring at this computer for too long and my eyes need a break. So, and it's Friday, so who cares? I'll talk to y'all. Mm. Either before I go to Pilates or when I come back. Hey y'all, happy Saturday. It is Saturday, ooh, July 9th. It is 11, 11, ooh, angel numbers. Um, it's 11, 11, make a wish. And I am, ooh, I feel like I have to sneeze. Okay, we're good. I am on my way to the beauty supply store and then I need to go grocery shopping, not for a lot of stuff, just for sofrito ingredients. And then I need to go to a different store, um, maybe Target um, or Cub, or I might do an Amazon fresh order. We'll see, but ooh, I need some more syrup for my coffee, I need some more cold brew coffee, and I need to get a few fresh vegetables. So actually I might go to the legit store, I might go to Cub Foods um, on my way home. So we're on our way out right now. Ugh, excuse me, hold on guys. So we just have on this Skims outfit per usual. Um, it's from their outdoor collection. I just have on my Birkenstocks. Gucci Marmont, this is like my everyday bag, so I always carry this. And yeah, my hair is a mess, but you know, we're gonna do it later on today or tomorrow morning. And yeah, also, I actually might do my hair later on today. I think I might wanna try and take Skipper to the dog park later on today when I come back, or take him like tomorrow, cause it's nice this weekend, so yeah. But anyways, let me stop rambling, let me go do what I need to do. I'm not taking my camera with me, so if I get any footage while I'm out, it will be from my phone, but if not, we're gonna do like a little unboxing or whatever anyways um, of our haul 
of all the things that I got. So I'll talk to you beautiful people later. Hey y'all, I'm finally back. When I left the house, hold on. It was like, cause I turned the camera on at 11, 11. Um, so by the time I got in my car, it was probably like 11, 20, 11, 25 ish. And it is almost 1.30 and I'm finally home. I just came from Walking Skipper, but we had a journey. We had a little adventure. So went to the beauty supply store, dropped a little bag and we got the stuff that I needed. There we go. And got the stuff that I needed. So got some got to be spray. Braiding hair, cause this is the closest color to my, it's 27. It's the closest color to my blonde um in my hair and this is also the same hair color that the braider that i went to to do my braided ponytail um for britney's wedding that's the color that she used but i also got the 27 and 1b mix because like my hair is also dark and technically my blonde is highlight slash babyage i don't know how you pronounce that but when i wear my hair in like a ponytail the whole thing is like blonde basically i got another wax stick then i got some murray's edge wax i used to use this a very long time ago especially when i wear my hair and it's like natural state and i want to puff it this works better to me than the edge control that i have then i needed a hard ass brush so got one while i was there Got these wrap strips for when I do the ponytail, make sure it's laid and secure. And they had silicone mix there. Come on camera. So I got some silicone mix deep conditioner. I got the shampoo as well. And then I got some heat protectant. This is not the brand that I normally use, but I'm pretty sure this will do the trick and work for me. And then they gave me a free rat tail comb because I signed up today for their little membership. Then I went to Walmart because it was right by the beauty supply store. Got some eggs because I eat eggs almost every single day and I haven't run out yet, but if I'm already at the store, I might as well go buy some eggs. Um, I got some salad because I think I want to have a salad tomorrow with my dinner, uh, my sugar-free French vanilla syrup. I got some minced garlic because I only have a little container from Trader Joe's. I got some red onions because what I have in my um, fridge right now is white onions, but I need this specifically to make sofrito, so we're just going to leave this in the back because I'm going to use it. Got some bell peppers that I also need for, for sofrito. We're gonna leave that in the back because I'm gonna use it. Oh, I have some broccoli so I can have it with my pizza later. I prefer fresh broccoli over frozen broccoli. It just tastes better. Um, I got some baby cucumbers to go in my salad. I already have tomatoes and then I have the white onions. I also probably won't use all the red onions. So if I want red onions in my salad, I'll have red onions. Um, this is aside from Wegmans brand of turkey bacon, which is my absolute favorite, but they don't have Wegmans out here. This Sam's Choice turkey bacon from um, Walmart, fire. And then I had to run around and I went to two different like ethnic supermarkets. Like they're technically Asian supermarkets, but they carry like other like cultural ingredients and foods there so i went to one first they didn't have what i needed so then i went to this other one that i was also told was a good one to go to and they had what i needed so i got more bell peppers because when i left um walmart i was like i should have gotten two packs of those bell peppers so i just bought another pack while i was there and then for my sofrito the ingredients that i actually like need to get from an from like a cultural or ethnic grocery store that's why i need that's why i needed to go there is for culantro and how he said will say they had the culantro at this last one that i went to they didn't have it at the first one but neither of them carried i he said will say they're like these small peppers they kind of look like the habanero peppers um that come in like the pack 
um, but they're not that. I accidentally picked that up one time when I had went to go buy ingredients for sofrito. And then when I had the sofrito, I was like, why is my mouth burning? It was from the habanero peppers. But you can still make sofrito without the ají se dulce, but I definitely needed the culantro. You, in my opinion, you cannot use cilantro as a substitute in sofrito. Um, for culantro, it just does not taste the same. It tastes nasty, actually, that. So, I got my sofrito ingredients. So after I make something to eat for lunch, we are going to make some sofrito. And I think I'm also gonna make a TikTok out of that too. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge for now though. And then put this other shit away. And then I'm gonna make myself a little sandwich with the few chips on the side. Pour myself some more water cause baby it is motherfucking hot outside. And I will talk to y'all later i don't think i'm gonna do the sofrito right away i am gonna do it today if not today tomorrow but i really want to try this little braid um because if i if i can do it then we're in business and i don't have to pay to get my hair done i'm gonna make something to eat and put this shit away so i will talk to you guys later hey y'all so I did, my hair is in a bun right now, but I'm about to wash it. I did end up using some of the braiding hair to see if I could do the little braided ponytail and I did it and it came out good. So it's not in right now because I took the hair back out um, so I could reuse it if I wanted to, but I was able to do it. Very proud of myself, but I'll just add in more hair when I do it to make it thicker at the beginning. Um, but I think I figured this shit out. so. Very, very excited to like do it for real, like make sure my hair is slicked back properly, that I tie everything down, that the ponytail comes out the right way. So yeah, but I just came from downstairs. I came from getting my package. I ordered some swimsuits from the MAC collection. I think I ordered them, did I order them earlier this week or did I order them last week? I either ordered them last week or earlier this week, but they were having a sale. I think I had gotten an email or a text or something that they were having a sale. Um, and so I ordered two swimsuits and two like mesh cover ups, like for the top part of my body. The one pieces that I wanted in these same colors, they didn't have them anymore it was sold out so i was like okay i'll just get two bikinis even though i'm not the most comfortable in my body at um the moment but on vacation it's gonna get whatever body i give it so yeah i got this purple bikini oh let's make sure they sent me the right sizes too yeah yes they did Everything is a medium, especially like for bottom. Sometimes I'm like, mm, could I have, oh, I think this is going to fit the way that I want to. Perfect. I'm actually glad I got this in a medium because I contemplated getting it in a large, but I was like, I have a feeling if I get this in a large, it is going to like be too loose. So I was like, let's get a medium. So those are the bottoms. And then I got this little mesh cover up that you wear on top and I thought that it was like so cute when it was on the model so I was like yeah I need the whole thing I hate that companies like make you pay separately for the bikini bottoms and the bikini top like why not just sell it together and if the logic is I feel like it's because they want to make more money but if the original intent was maybe some people are a different size than they are on top okay you can still sell it together and allow people to choose a different size for the top and bottom but I'm pretty sure that they sell them separately for a money thing and also some people do like to mix and match but I think it's a money thing but like just sell it together anyways this is the pink mesh top. I also have like a black mesh, I think I still have it, a black mesh cover up dress that I bought from. I think I also bought it from Matt Collection as well. I bought it last year when, you know, I was supposed, oh, I was like, they sent me the wrong thing. No, they didn't. When I was supposed to be going on vacation last August, but yeah. 
I just kind of wanted some bright colors for vacation. So, so cute. It's giving very much Barbie. That's why I want, I, that's why I especially wanted the pink because it was giving Barbie vibes. But I am going to try them on. I feel like with bikinis anyways, I didn't check their, their policy, but usually a lot of places are like, they don't accept returns, but everything like should fit. Um, I'm more concerned about the bottoms. Um, this should fit fine. Um, but we're going to try it on. Don't know if I will show it to y'all. Y'all might just have to wait for vacation, but very happy with my purchases. I do want to see how they look on my body though. And then I'm going to go wash this hair because we got to get her together. So yeah. Hey y'all, happy Sunday. I am on my way to Target. As you just saw, I just put in some laundry and now I'm going to go to Target because I did not get my, ooh, my voice. I did not get my cold brew coffee yesterday. Um, I didn't feel like making any more pit stops on the way home because I was just out and about like all morning. So yeah, I need to go get my cold brew coffee from Target. I need to go get Skipper some canned food. I need to get some ham for my sandwiches for lunch during the week. I need to get some extra hair ties, extra scrunchies. I think that's it that I need from Target. So that is where we're going. Oh, obviously my hair is nice and slicked back. I haven't done a slick back um, bun with my natural hair in like a very long time. And look how sleek she looks. Okay, edges. But yeah, she looks really good. Let's zoom y'all back out. She looks very good, but yeah, we're gonna go to the store now. Um, debating if I'm gonna take y'all with me. I might just get clips on my phone because that might be easier. But yeah, and then we'll come back and I'm gonna make breakfast. And then I think I'm gonna take Skipper to the dog park for a little bit, get him out the house and then come back, finish laundry. I need to um, do something for work on my presentation, just change something. And yeah, it's gonna be a pretty chill. Oh, I gotta make the sofrito today too. But yeah, it's going to be a pretty chill Sunday. It's been a pretty chill weekend. So I'll talk to you in a little bit. All right guys, back from Target. Got some more popcorn. 
I needed a small cutting board. Like I have two cutting boards, but they're big and I needed a small one so I don't have to always use my big one when I'm not cutting that much stuff. So we got that. I got the last two bottles of my stock cold brew coffee. Well, this, this color, um, they have like the other types that come in the other colored bottles, but this is the one I prefer. I got the last two bottles of that. I got Skipper's canned dog food. And then I got some ham for my sandwiches. Two different types of hair scrunchies. And then some orange shoes. And that is it. Now I'm going to make breakfast and I think I'm going to chop all this stuff to make sofrito and then I'm going to relax the rest of the day. It looks like it's going to rain. I don't think it's supposed to. Maybe it's just going to be cloudy because when I checked the weather yesterday and this morning I didn't say that it was going to rain today but it's very cloudy outside. But I'll keep an eye on the weather to see if I'm still going to take him to the dog park or not or if I'm up to it but yeah let me make something to eat because the bitch is starving and i'll talk to you beautiful people later
I just finished making sofrito. I did some cleaning in the kitchen. I sweeped in here. I had to clean my stove top because it got real greasy last weekend. I just put away some clothes, put the other batch of laundry in the dryer. And now we're just gonna cool out for the rest of the afternoon. It really does look like it's gonna rain. So I'm not trying to take him to the dog park today because if it does start raining, I'm gonna be upset. So we're just gonna stare ass in the house. It is not even one o'clock yet. It's almost one o'clock. It's 12.50. I'm gonna turn on the TV and find something to watch. Start editing this vlog. I think I'm going to end it here. Let me record the outro just in case I do decide to end it here and not continue it because I think I want this to be like a chill weekend vlog and then I'll pick up the camera during the week to do like a weekly vlog. I think I have enough footage, but just in case, we'll record the outro now. Thank y'all for watching this video. Sorry there wasn't like a lot going on in this vlog. It was just more of a chill weekend for me. And like I said at the beginning of this vlog, nothing is contrived. I basically vlog what I do during my weekend or during the week. So it was a bit more chill. We just did errands, cleaning, getting ready for the work week. And yeah, so thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you aren't already, you know, subscribe to the family. If you've been watching, not subscribe. Don't know what you're waiting for. You're gonna love it here because everyone else loves it here. So yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video.